Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, Gabby's totally psyched because the Galaxy Girl TV show is coming to Brooklyn for a special program at Hurston Middle School. Gabby really wants to buy a Galaxy Girl costume to wear to the show. Tell me Galaxy Girl at the show and she'll know that Gabby Fernandez is her number one fan. But she doesn't have any money and neither does anyone else. <laughs> Sorry, Gab, I'm broke. Yeah, me too. Me three. Then Gabby got an idea. I can borrow the money, buy the costume, take it back the next day, say there was something wrong with it, and get a refund. Then I can put back the money before anyone misses it. So she bought the costume at the party animal, but there was one problem. You can't return it. You bought it on sale. Then, on the day of the show, the other team members saw Brett Pierce, who used to be a star on Galaxy Girl. The show's producer, Bruce Barron, gave them a sneak peek at the Galaxy Girl spaceship, QTC 5000. It's worth $50,000. And lots of kids dressed up for the Galaxy Girl show, like Calvin and Jeffrey, who went as evil blue mockers, Galaxy Girl's enemies. But when the curtains opened, Somebody stole my QTC. The spaceship was gone. And the thief left a note that said QTC 5000 is ours. And the note had blue smudges all over it. Gabby was really bummed that she went to all that trouble and she didn't even get to meet Galaxy Girl. When she was packing away her costume, she heard yelling in the hall. And while she wasn't looking, and What's going on? Over $40 is missing from the register. And when Ghost Rider sent the team a clue, The party animal. Gabby got nervous. We have a suspect who robbed the bodega. Yeah. Calvin the Booger Bat Ferguson. And to make matters worse, Gabby found something hidden in her toy chest. What's Gabby gonna do? Get a pencil in your casebook out and keep track of the clues, because the Ghost Rider team is on the case. Calvin's going to tell that I bought the costume. Then everybody will know that I took the money. Cutesy, how'd you get in here? Dun, 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 dun.
Abby, wake up, wake up. What happened? You were having a bad dream. A dream? You must have been worried because someone robbed our store. Yeah. Relax. I'm sure Calvin had something to do with it. And tomorrow, with Ghostfighter's help, I'm going to get the evidence to prove it. Gabby, hurry up. Dinner's ready. And I had to set the table for you, so you owe me. I'm doomed. It's about time you showed up. Uh, sorry I'm late, Jasmine. I had gym last period and I had to take a shower because uh, nobody likes a funky tutor. <laughs> I'll let you slide this time. But don't let it happen again. Here's your student's tutoring folder. You'd better study it fast. They'll be here any minute. I know. I can't tutor Lamont Sampson. Why not? Hi, Lamont. What up, Jazz? Are you sure you didn't see anyone come onto the stage while you were helping set up the room? Just the security guard. No, we've already questioned him. You're wasting your time questioning these kids. We, we should be figuring out this note the thief left behind. It's the only way we'll get my QTC back. Mr. Barron, QTC 5000 is ours. If you ever want to see him again, stay in the foul freeze box. Mr. Right, Barron, I've already box. told you, unless you can tell me what a foul freeze box is, I can't help you. Me? I'm a TV producer. What do I know from foul freeze boxes? You're the detective. You're supposed to solve the case. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Well, I wish you'd try to do it a lot faster. I mean, you're sitting around talking to a bunch of kids. That's not getting any place. Well, find some evidence or something. I think Lieutenant McQuaid is right. If we can figure out what a foul freeze box means, then it might be the key to getting cutesy back. Can I see your case book? Hmm. Foul freeze box sounds like it has something to do with sports. You know, like a foul in basketball or baseball. There's a penalty box in hockey. But there's no foul freeze box in any sport I've ever heard of. Wait a minute. This is a galaxy girl robbery, right? Hyperball. And there's lots of galaxy girl stuff here. Look, Galaxy Girl, the hype about Hyperball by Marsu McNichol. I bet this says something. Look up Frau Freeze Box. Check in the index. Error penalty, fair play standards. Ah, I've got it. Frau Freeze Box, page 28. Here it is. Frau Freeze Box. Any player who breaks a rule must sit in the foul freeze box. But what's foul freeze box? And what does that have to do with getting cutesy back? Foul freeze box is a square that is set up where the rule was broken. The player must stay in the square until the key to touches it. Then the player can come back into the game. So the thief wants Mr. Barron to sit in the foul freeze box. And the box should be on the spot where cutesy was stolen, because that's where the rule was broken. Yeah, let's get some tape and make a square right on the stage where cutesy was hanging. How long do I have to sit here? You're the producer. You should know this hyperball stuff inside out. Yeah, well, I, 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 I've never had the time to read all these Galaxy Girl books, magazines. Well, you'll have plenty of time for reading now. And you should, because I think whoever put that note up must be a huge fan of Galaxy Girl. How else could he come up with such a little detail? Oh, great. Some space cadet walks off with my cutesy. I could be stuck here the rest of my life. <laughs> Not again. Looks like I've got you right where I want you, Bruce Barron. You can't run away, so you might as well listen to my plan. Not a chance. I've got a lot of reading to catch up on. How about if I put it down on paper? Now, look, you're going to be sorry if you... Get him away from me. Let's go, buddy. I'll be back, Barron. Uh, you don't have a pen on you, do you? Some paper I can borrow? I wonder what they're fighting about. Yeah, and why is he still hanging around anyway? He's not on the show anymore. Maybe he's just a pest. Yeah, like Calvin. Calvin. Checkmate. Gosh, you're brilliant, Calvin. 
Is that supposed to be some kind of news flash? All right, Calvin, admit it. You stole money from my parents' cash register yesterday. Get real! Then how come there was a party animal discount chip in the cash register? How do you know it was from our store? Our discount chips don't say anything about the party animal. But they do say order number 0047. And we know that's a special order for your store. Really? And how did you know that? Never mind how we know that. Did you or did you not take a $50 bill from the Fernandez cash register? Hey, that's the $50 Jeffrey? bill Jeffrey! That... Uh-huh. Zip your lip! Why don't you use what's left of your pea brains, boys? The party animal makes the bodega look like a stale tortilla. When my cash register rings, people think Santa Claus is coming to town. So why don't you junior detectives see if you can find your way out of here? Because I'd rather punch your lights out. Whoa. We should get some more proof and come back later. All right. Hey, Calvin, why didn't you just tell him Gabby got the discount chip when she bought the Galaxy Girl costume? Because we're living by Marvel laws, remember? Law number two, choose to confuse. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I never forget anything. And I know those guys aren't smart enough to track down where that discount chip came from on their own. They must have a super secret way of digging out that kind of information. And when I find out what it is, I'm gonna use it to crush those pawns. So we think the thief is making believe that he's part of Galaxy Girl's world. Wouldn't it be cool if we tracked him down like science fiction detectives? Gabby, what's wrong? Nothing. Uh-oh. I forgot the sour cream for the dip. I'll be right back. Okay? All right. We went over to the party and... Lenny, I'll help you later. I have to talk to my family in private. Sure. Um, I'll come up with you and fill you in on what happened with Calvin. Bye. See you later. Bye. Why are you so serious, Gabriela? Yeah, what's the matter? Eduardo! Step back. Come on. We've been robbed again. Dios mío, what's going on? 
I don't know. We have to call the police. And don't touch anything. Come on, let's go in the store and wait for the police to come. Well, 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 well. Come on, Alejandro. I'm sick of math, and I'm sick of you. Look, man, I'm just trying to help no, you. No, you look, I'm in the eighth grade, and I don't need any help from a sixth grader. I'm in seventh grade now, and according to your Turing folder, if you don't get any help, you won't graduate. And if you don't get out of my face, I'm going to subtract some of your teeth. Man, what is your problem? You. Fine. What, are you going to whine to the principal again? No. Did last year. You sold me a pool pass for two bucks. So what? Person doesn't have a pool. You know, that really would have been funny if I didn't get suspended because of you. And the 12 other kids you conned? How many of them did you beat up after you got suspended? Just you. You want another black guy? I'm not afraid of you. Take your best shot. Whoever broke in was probably a child or a very small adult. Nobody else's arm could have slid under the window gate to release the latch. Yeah, but I, I, I don't understand why someone would break in and then not take anything. Maybe he took something we overlooked. Uh, oh. Gabriela, what's wrong? My stomach. ¿Qué pasó? I don't know. I'm going to take her to our room so she can lie down. That's strange. What? Where'd that Galaxy Girl costume come from? Do you know what this is? No. Alejandro? Blue smudges, like the ones we saw when Cutesy was stolen. That's weird. Look at all the blue smudges on it. I'm gonna take this back over to Hurston and see if Mr. Barron can identify it. I'll get in touch with you if I come up with any information. Yes. Thank you, Lieutenant. come back. Well, it's about time this girl's been holding me hostage. Look, I've done some thinking and I can't do this. You have to find someone else to tutor Lamont. I'm sorry, Jasmine. Jamal, don't quit. Lamont told me what happened last year about the pool pass and all. He ripped me off. Yeah, I beat you behind, too. You want to try again? Jumping bad, cry baby? Chill out. I mean it. Yeah, well, I'm out of here. You math magicians are lame. And what's that supposed to mean? Well, you gotta be lame to pick math tutoring for volunteer month. Oh, yeah? And what did you pick? Well, I'm helping Momo fix the bleachers at the youth center. And why did you choose it? Because carpentry's my thing. Yeah, well, math is my thing. Why do you diss me for doing what I like to do? Especially when you need his help to graduate. How's this goober gonna help me when he doesn't have sense enough to know that you can't use a pool pass in a school without a pool? <laughs> hey. I made a mistake, all right? And the same thing can happen to you. Oh, man, ain't nobody in this school bad enough to pull a fast one on the kid, okay? Maybe not in this school, 
But what about high school? Mm-hmm. Maybe that's why you're afraid to graduate. Say what? You heard me. You're afraid to graduate and go on to high school because then you'll be the new kid. That's right. And someone might try to pull a fast one on you. That's what you're afraid of. Nah, you're bugging. I ain't afraid of nothing. Nothing but the truth. And math. I heard that. Look, you two think you got me in check, all right? But you don't. I'm gonna do this tutoring thing and we can see who's afraid of graduating. Later. Hey, wait a minute. Got something for you. What? Your homework for our next session. <laughs> you know, I got a little something for you too, home slice. Yeah? What's that? A little advice from Dr. Love. That girl is fly. You better be a man and let her know where you stand before a really good looking brother like me checks her out and you wind up standing alone. Peace out. <laughs> That guy is crazy. Is he? Yeah, he is. I don't see what's so crazy about letting a girl know how you feel. You know how I feel. Why do you think I call you all the time? Why do you think I'm tutoring math for an entire month? Why do you think I walk you home when I live in the opposite direction? Because I let you. And because I like you. Did you say something about walking me home? <laughs> And the strange object Lieutenant McQuaid found next to Gabby's toy chest had blue smudges on it. Like the smudges on the note left by whoever stole Cutesy. What if the same person who stole Cutesy broke into your room? I bet you anything it was Calvin. Maybe Ghost Rider found something in the party animal that will help us figure it out. There must be another suspect. We have to find some way to convince Ghost Hunter to tell us what he knows. We can tell him how serious this is. Someone robbed the bodega. And broke into your room. He's on the team, and we need his help. Ask Gabby. What would Gabby know about this? Maybe she's the one he was afraid of hurting. No wonder it was so hard for him to tell us what he found at the party animal. No way! He couldn't have discovered anything about Gabby. 
Alex said she had the Galaxy Girl costume, and she didn't have the money for it. And they sell them at the party animal. And the strange object with the blue smudges was with her stuff. And who knows more about Galaxy Girl than Gabby? And who else would Ghost Rider be protecting but Gabby? Alex, I think we're gonna have to put Gabby on. No way. Sorry, Alex, but it's a case, right? We can't ignore any suspects, no matter how much we like them. Can't do this. Can't let you put my own sister on the suspects list. Alex, wait! 